Happy New Year, everyone. It is New Year's Eve. I'm going to end the year by doing a nice little adventure. Underground, of course. What else? And I'm in a mountain in Luzerne County. We'll just have to leave it at that. I'm checking out a series of caves. We'll just call them caves. There's about six in a row along this trail. And the one we saw there is by far the smallest one. Here is number two. It's a tight squeeze, but not by my standards. You've seen some of the ridiculous things that I've gone through. Now, number three is where it gets substantially bigger here. Look at the size of that. Most likely, this will be my starting point, but I want to show you all the uh, entrances first. Approaching number four, equally if not bigger. Look at the size of this one too. Just massive. And you could already see the next one right up there. Here's number five. Kind of blocked by the trees here, but I assure you it's at least as big as the last two. And the final one, number six, is the one that scares me a little bit, especially without having rope, because it is very steep. And leaves and wet. So there's no reason to make this my starting point. I'm gonna go back to one of the middle two, head down, because from what I remember, once you're down there, these are all gonna connect. Okay, I'm actually going to start at the fifth entrance because I really want to see that last one. And assuming they do connect, I won't have to backtrack very far. So I'm going to carefully try and make my way in here. pitch too. Nothing but loose boulders. And you know what? Where is that going to go? I thought this was the end. I thought number six was the last one, but we have yet another side entrance. I can barely walk on this. I'm gonna get a workout today. There's a decent pillar in the middle, thankfully, and look at this, there's actually another side passage. Have a nice gust of wind coming through here. Now this is, oh we got crickets, I'm like what in the world is hopping all over? This is just kind of scary. I'm going to take careful crawl through and then head back because I just really wanted to see the main six entrances. This is going to get bad because it is just looking like a downward slope. We have a couple timbers. Oh yeah, now there's two, three, four. 
and the side passages keep going. This is crazy. When are they going to end? Well, I am not getting on that. That is incredibly smooth. Which means, oh, you hear that echo down there too? Those rocks are going for a ride. Yeah, that's like no footing whatsoever. Oh, right there too. Yeah, this is just going to go God knows how far. But you know what? There probably was more entrances. They just look like they collapsed, so. So this is not the way I, this is not the side entrance that I just came through before. It's a little further down. Still kind of wanted to check it out. Okay. There it is. I'm going to go through one of those to number five, back where I started. So I, som I somehow made it to the bottom of number six, and I'm at the very last side access, which is the third access now. So we're going to be moving over to number five, which is what I started this at. But all the way up there, of course. I think I've spotted a side access for cave number four. There it is. That is a big, wide open side passage over there to get to number three. Just going to continue to number three. And this is a pretty decent sized manway right here. That side access, that's huge. You could drive a car through that. I could see a little peek through the outside. That's probably the very first one. But just because there's no more outside accesses doesn't mean this wouldn't have gone further. Because you saw back where I started how it was one passageway after another. And there could have been outside accesses that they just collapsed to. All right, I'm gonna pop back out and see where I'm at. Looks like rain. I wouldn't even mind that at all right now. Now, what do we got? Well, that's what I was just looking towards. Yeah, that's that's the first one. Let's see what else we got out here, though, real quick. What do you say to end this adventure? I squeeze through there as soon as I catch my breath. All right, I took all of about 30 seconds. been through worse but still that is pretty bad this is the 
stuff people get mad about. And I mean, who are you kidding? It is pretty terrible. So the whole earth came down right here. And I'm sure this did go to the outside. I'm not saying I'm going underneath it, but I just want to get a little look. All right. Fair enough. Not to make it back out of this monstrosity. Did I really just come through that? I guess I had to. What the hell is wrong with me? That is awful. cool that's worth taking a picture of well as i go searching for my backpack and hoodie that i left out here somewhere i just want to wish everybody a happy new year we'll see you in 2021 with more crazy adventures maybe not so many underground but if you like them i'll keep doing them because you know how i feel about the underground i love it there it is Me and Frank gotta go to some further away locations, but they're coming. Yeah, I did come out here with a hoodie. It is December after all.